Our third objective for this lecture is to solve the equation involving log. So for example number 7, solve the following equation. So for question A, we are given 2 to the power of 2x plus 3 minus 25 times 2 to the power of x plus 3 equal to 0. For 2 to the power of 2x plus 3, we can rewrite as 2 to the power of 2x times 2 to the power of 3 minus 25 times 2 to the power of x plus 3 equal to 0. For 2 to the power of 2x, we can rewrite as 2 to the power of x square. We know that 2 to the power of 3 equal to 8 minus 25 times 2 to the power of x plus 3 equal to 0. Rewrite the equation so we have 8 times 2 to the power of x square minus 25 times 2 to the power of x plus 3 equal to 0. Let a equal to 2 to the power of x. So substitute the variable a into the equation. We have 8a squared minus 25a plus 3 equal to 0. Factorizing the equation. So we have a minus 3, 8a minus 1. So the value for A is 3 or A equal to 1 over 8. But A is 2 to the power of X. So here we have 2 to the power of X equal to 3. Taking log for both sides with the base 2. Log 2 power X base 2 equal to log 3 base 2 so x log 2 base 2 equal to log 3 base 2 then your x will be equal to log 3 base 2 for a equal to 1 over 8 a is 2 to the power of X. So we have 2 to the power of x equal to 1 over 8 is 2 to the power of 3. So 2 to the power of x is 2 to the power of negative 3. Then we have x equal to negative 3. So the answer will be x equal to log 3 base 2 or x equal to negative 3. For question B, we are given log x base 2 plus log x minus 7 base 2 equal to 3. We can rewrite two terms at the left hand side as a single log. So we can rewrite as log x times x minus 7 base 2 by using the product rule equals at the right hand side 3. So rewrite the equation into index form x x minus 7 equal to 2 to the power of 3. So we can expand the equation. So we have x square minus 7x equal to 8. Altogether, to the left hand side, we have x square minus 7x minus 8 equal to 0. Factorizing the equation. So we have x times x equal to x 
and 8 times 1 equal to 8 minus 8 plus 1 equal to minus 7 then your x will be equal to 8 or x equal to negative 1 but your x should be greater than 0 then your final answer x is 8 For question C, we are given log x base 3 minus 4 times log 3 base x plus 3 equal to 0. So, we are going to change the base for log 3 base x. We are using log base 3. So, we have log x base 3 for the first term minus 4. We are going to change log 3 base x as log 3 base 3 over log x base 3. So, we are using log base 3 plus 3 equal to 0. So, to simplify, we have log x base 3 minus 4 log 3 base 3 equal to 1 so we have 1 over log x base 3 plus 3 equal to 0 so let variable a equal to log x base 3 then our equation will be a minus 4 times 1 over a plus 3 equal to 0. Multiply both sides by a, we have a squared minus 4 plus 3a equal to 0. Rearrange the equation, so we have a squared plus 3a minus 4 equal to 0. We can factorize the equation. So, we have a plus 4 and a minus 1. So, your a be equal to negative 4 or a equal to 1. But, a is log x base 3. So, log x base 3 equal to negative 4. x will be equal to 3 to the power of negative 4 that is 1 over 81 for a equal to 1 we have log x base 3 equal to 1 then your x equal to 3 to the power of 1 so x equal to 3 so your answer will be x equal to 1 over 81 and x equal to 3 For question D, we are given 2 times natural log for 4x equal to 2 plus natural log for 9. We know that natural log is log to the base E. So, we are going to write the equation by using log to the base E. So, we have here 2 log 4x base E e equal to 2 plus log 9 base e by using power rule 2 log 4x is log 4x square base e equal to 2 plus log 9 base e so we can expand 4x square so we have log 16x square base e equal to 2 plus log 9 base e
rearrange the equation. So we have log 16 x square base e minus log 9 base e equal to 2. As single log, we can rewrite as log 16 x square over 9 base e equal to 2. In two index form, we have 16 x square over 9 equal to e squared. Then, your x square is 9 e squared over 16. Therefore, your x is plus minus square root of 9e squared over 16 which equal to plus minus 3e over 4 but your x should be greater than 0 therefore x should equal to 3e over 4